This will be for the kind exercise and behavior of polynomials. So I just want to define one thing first. The leading term or leading coefficient has the greatest exponent. All right, so just in this example, this function right here, we can see out of all these exponents, the greatest or highest exponent is six. Okay, so the leading term is five x to the sixth, and the leading coefficient is just the five right there. Okay, remember the coefficient is the constant term that's in front of the variable. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on, all these problems, the leading term and the leading coefficient. Okay, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna establish four cases here. This is case number one, the greatest exponent is even and the leading coefficient is positive, okay? So I'm gonna label the x-axis x and the y-axis, instead of labeling it y, I'm gonna label it f of x because that's how they have it on the multiple choices, all right? And what happens on this graph is basically you'll have like a uh, parabola for the most part. All right. And as you can see on this side right here, as X, we know going to the right is positive. As X goes to positive infinity, Okay, so as x goes to uh, positive infinity, this is going up. f of x is also going to positive infinity. All right, so as x goes to the right, f of x goes up. And then on the other side, as x goes to negative infinity, the um, y values or f of x still go up. So f of x goes to positive infinity. All right, maybe I can write this a little more clear. Okay, on the right-hand side, as x gets more and more positive, it's going to the right, the f of x or y values also get more and more positive. Okay, so as x goes to positive infinity, f of x or the y values also go to positive infinity. See, it goes right and up. Now on the left side, if you travel left, that's in the negative direction for x, so as x goes to negative infinity, the graph still goes up. So f of x goes to positive infinity. So that is when the greatest exponent is even and the leading coefficient is positive. Now let's do the same thing if the greatest exponent is even, but the leading coefficient is negative. Okay, and what the graph is generally going to look like It's basically, it's basically going to be like that. Okay. So let's see if we can readjust what we wrote before. I'm going to erase the positives and negatives and readjust. All right. Let's check this out here. In this case, X is getting more and more positive. So X is going to positive infinity, but the graph or the, the F of X or Y values are headed down toward negative infinity. So f of x goes to negative infinity. All right, so it goes right and down. Let's look at the other side. As x heads to the left or the negative direction, so x heads toward negative infinity, the graph, this goes to the left. As x goes to the left, f of x or the y values also go down. So as x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes to negative infinity. All right, so that is for even exponent and leading coefficient is negative. 
All right, now we'll do greatest exponent is odd and leading coefficient is positive. Okay, and what that graph basically looks like is something, something like that. Okay, it goes up and to the right and down and to the left. So let's redo the infinity symbols here. As X goes to the right, that's positive infinity. The Y values or F of X also go to positive infinity. Okay, and on the other side, the graph travels to the left. So the X goes to negative infinity and the graph travels down. So F of X also goes to negative infinity. All right, so the graph goes to the left and it goes down. All right, last one, greatest exponent is odd. Leading coefficient is negative. So the graph is now gonna be uh, something like this. All right, so finally, let's readjust our, our infinity signs. As X travels to the right, that's positive infinity. The graph or F of X travels down. So F of X goes to negative infinity. On the other side, as X goes to the left, so that's negative infinity, the graph or F of X travels up. So that's positive infinity. So that would be the case for greatest exponent odd leading coefficient negative. Okay, consider the polynomial function. What is the end behavior of the graph of G? And they have all of the possibilities that we went through. All right, so remember we're focused on the leading coefficient. Let's look at that. All right, so the leading, co the leading term and the leading coefficient if you look at the um, leading exponent, that's an even exponent. And the leading coefficient is a positive 5. So it's positive and an even exponent. And what did we say that looks like in the notes at the beginning? Well, if it's positive and even exponent, it's basically going to be like that. Okay. So on this side, X is going to positive infinity and the Y value or G of X is going up. So that's also headed to positive infinity. On the left-hand side, as X gets more and more negative, X goes to negative infinity and G of X or the Y values are still going up. So G of X approaches positive infinity. So this should be your answer right here. Let's look at the choices. All right, X goes to positive, G of X goes to positive. So A is good, B is no good because it says G of X negative infinity. C is no good. And D is possible. All right. And then let's see. So we're looking at A or D. As X goes to negative infinity, G goes to positive. So that's answer A. X goes to negative. G of X goes to positive. Double check the first one. X positive. G of X positive. Yep. Um, I put a positive or plus sign in front of the infinity. They did not. So if there's no sign in front of the, in, the infinity, you can assume it's positive, okay? But the negative infinity has the negative sign. Anyhow, that's answer A. All right, consider the polynomial function, and we have the same multiple choices. Once again, you wanna look at the leading coefficient, the one with the highest exponent. I think they always put them in order on Khan Academy, but don't uh, necessarily count on it. You wanna look for the greatest exponent regardless of the order here. But right here, we can see the exponent is odd. 
Okay, and we can see the leading coefficient is positive three. So it's gonna be positive with an odd exponent. And we know exactly, generally what that looks like. Okay, it starts down here and it heads that way. All right, so as X goes to the right, X goes to infinity. The graph goes up, this is Q of X. So Q of X is basically Y, the graph goes up. So the graph heads to positive infinity. And it's basically the opposite over here as X goes to the left, X goes to negative infinity, the graph or Q of X goes down. So Q of X also goes to negative infinity. So this right here and this right here is what we are looking for on the multiple choices. Okay, for the positive X, we want positive infinity. So A is good. B is no good, C is no good, and D is good. So again, it's going to be A or D. And then for X goes to negative infinity, the graph goes to negative infinity, and we can clearly see that's answer D.